I've got a secret and so do you. No one talks about it, but we all struggle with it. Okay, here's my secret. Excess facial hair. How can I get rid of this embarrassing secret? Where do I go? I got you, girl. Keep watching. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dr. K Explains It All, the YouTube channel that aims to educate you on your health journey, and not only that, but arm you with a barrel load of information so you can make better decisions about your health. I'm so excited, guys, because today's video is different. In this series, I'm going to be doing a Q&A with people who are experts in their fields, asking them all the questions that you want answered. So let's move straight on to it, shall we? Today's video is about hair removal methods for embarrassing facial hair. And I've got somebody here with me today that I'm so looking forward to introducing you to. She's an expert in her field of hair removal, and she's one of the very few people whose knowledge and expertise in this area that I trust. So without much ado, drum roll please for Jerry! and your background. Sure. So my name is Jerry Paniatova and I've been specializing in permanent hair removal since 2003. I've trained and worked with some of the biggest names um, and brands in the UK in the aesthetic industry. Oh, very um, good. Nowadays I uh, prefer to work in, on a smaller yeah. um, scale mm -hmm. and so I run my busy private practice from this clinic in Romford mm -hmm. that's called Purple Valentine mm -hmm. and um, I also do the occasional clinics around other um, towns in Essex. Right, so today we're going to be talking about electrolysis. Now I vaguely remember something to do with electrolysis back in school and that was all talk of electric currents and metals but something tells me that this isn't the same. So, would you mind explaining what electrolysis is in the context of hair removal, Jerry? Sure. Um, so, it, does, it, ha it starts with electrolysis that you've studied, Good. but it had actually developed, that was about 140 years ago when it started with that method. Right. Um, but nowadays, electrolysis is a, the only permanent hair removal method. Electrolysis can treat every hair color Good. on every skin type. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter whether the, the texture of the skin is fine or textured. So pretty much any area on any body can be treated by right. electrolysis. Right. And it can result in permanent 100% hair removal for good. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. 100% yes. for any skin tone, any skin type. Yes. I think we need to find out more. Yes. It seems like there's so many things that you can use electrolysis for. So would you mind just telling us a few of these things that you can use electrolysis for? Okay, so I work with a lot of different uh, people. Um, I work with the NHS, helping transgender people on their journey. Mm -hmm. I work with ladies with polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, who suffer with excessive uh, facial and body hair, helping them uh, gain back their confidence. Mm -hmm. I also work with people who have inherited the hairy genes yeah. um, and suffer with hirsutism, <laughs> um, as well as any other um, people who are just not happy with the amount of hair that their body presents mm -hmm. and just want to reduce or completely remove that. Absolutely. Jerry, I know you said earlier that, you know, virtually anyone can have it, any skin tones or skin types, but really for the people out there who are wondering, who can actually have electrolysis? Well, it's everyone really. Um, I can work, or electrolysis works on all skin types, on all hair colors, all hair textures. Um, I work with both male and female mm -hmm. clients. Mm -hmm. Um, in some cases, we also work with children who are underage mm. when there is um, a condition present that needs to be corrected. Mm. Um, as a member of the association, I have the medical malpractice insurance who allows me to work with young children as well to help them. Okay, good. I like the fact that you mentioned about you being a member of the association. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch on that later mm -hmm. for people who are interested 
to make sure that they're going to somebody that is accredited yes. and verified. I've heard about things like laser, IPL, all these kind of things, but I just get a bit confused. And would you just explain what's the difference between laser hair removal and electrolysis? Lovely. Um, this is probably the most common question people ask. Okay. And mm -hmm. both electrolysis and um, photoepilation, which is IPL and laser, right. offer permanent hair, but one offers removal, which mm -hmm. is 100%, mm -hmm. and the other one offers reduction, which is, um, it will reduce yes. the amount of hair that's present, yeah. but that amount will differ from person to person mm -hmm. depending on the hair texture and color and as you probably guess now right. laser is legally allowed to claim permanent hair reduction right because laser just needs pigment in the hair and right. texture to be able to kill the hair follicle right whereas electrolysis is permanent hair removal which means a hundred percent because it does not depend on the pigment um, mm. that's in the hair what you were saying really is that electrolysis is the method for 100% removal yes. whereas laser is about reduction yes interesting i didn't know that guys so having decided as somebody that's interested in going forward with electrolysis what's the next step jerry um, well, really, the next step should be doing your research mm -hmm. on who you would like to um, have a consultation with. Maybe right. I always strongly advise people to locate a few different professionals in their area, right. someone that they will find it relatively easy to get to, yeah. um, and have a few different consultations. Mm -hmm. Shop around. Very okay. important. Shop around. In that way, you will find the person that you feel most comfortable with. Right. You should get a consultation and a test patch with each professional that you meet. Okay. And judge afterwards how your skin will be after the test patch, what you've been told. Mm -hmm. um, and compare with the research and the reading you've done online mm -hmm. to, to decide who you want to start your treatment with because electrolysis is a commitment mm -hmm. it's about a year year and a half long process mm -hmm. and it's right. very important that you build the trust with the yeah. professional you'll be working with mm -hmm. as a professional you would want to your client to know what will be coming after that mm -hmm. so that you can maintain the trust because the first three four months at least are mm -hmm. all about the trust the patient will have to trust the professional completely mm -hmm. before they start seeing mm -hmm. the results. And it does take that long in the beginning to start seeing the result. Okay, so it's not that immediate results are guaranteed. Yes, so th this comes from the fact that hair mm -hmm. grows in cycles. So right. our body is very clever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't grow all the hair at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit like a 24 hour shop. You know, you have an early shift, day shift, evening shift and night shift with yeah. us is over the months. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, what's present at this point, mm -hmm. if the, the electrologist treats it, mm -hmm. then the next shift's gonna kick in in a few uh, weeks or a month's time. So yeah. they need to treat that cycle as well and so on until you run out of cycles of hair. Okay. So this is why a yeah. number of treatments are required okay. to address all the cycles that grow in that area. Right. So the main things really is, um, you know, be diligent and do your research, make sure to kind of compare with a few different electrologists, mm -hmm. make sure you do have a test patch and you're comfortable with that person and have a rapport with that person. Mm -hmm and be aware that you are in this for the time commitment yes yeah exactly. and you're saying up to a, you know like a year or yeah yeah well um people who suffer with really severe hormonal imbalances or transgender people mm -hmm. are the ones who are in it for the longer mm -hmm. period of time but normally most people will be pretty much done by 12 to 18 months okay um yeah that's if they commit to the treatment plan now if you if you need an hour every two weeks say but you only commit 
15 minutes mm -hmm. every two weeks right. that will of course lengthen the period right. in, of time in which you will see the results okay. so now having done all of that i'm now coming through for my first appointment so jerry would you mind just talking me through what's going to happen certainly i would have asked you mm -hmm. at the time of the consultation right. that you grow as much hair as you can oh. and uh, we all as professionals understand that that can be a very difficult thing to do and we are prepared to work with our patients but um, we need to actually see the hair above the surface of the skin right. to be able to treat it okay. um, so we don't need you to grow the hair very long mm -hmm. two millimeters is enough but the hair needs to be above the surface of the skin. Mm. Uh, we also ask you to not have had any um, uh, aesthetic treatments like peels or other laser treatments right. or any sun exposure okay. for at least a week or two weeks before right. your appointment. Okay. okay. Then during the actual treatment, uh, we start by cleansing the skin. Mm -hmm. Um, looking at the hair and choosing the size of probe that we will use. Mm -hmm. So we use tiny probes mm -hmm. which are pre-sterilized and are just single use, mm -hmm. um, which we insert into the hair follicle. Yeah. So if we look at this little model here, there we go. Yeah. Um, we the the hair follicles already existing opening in the in the skin. Mm -hmm. The hair tells us where exactly it is. Mm -hmm. What we do is just drop a probe inside a tiny little metal mm. um, filament mm. that um, there's no piercing of the skin, so you you will not feel that. Mm -hmm. And then once we're at the right place, mm -hmm. we release. Uh, a very short electric pulse. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as I say electric pulse, people think they're gonna act like on the cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> There's not actually electricity running through the person's body um, with thermolysis, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And um, what happens is where the probe touches the skin, the skin that's immediately surrounding it will get hot. Mm -hmm. it, it heats up very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now with new technologies that we have nowadays, mm -hmm. we're able to deliver that in one tenth of a second, which means it will be over before your brain catches it. Good. Yeah? So <laughs> yeah. Very comfortable treatment, yeah. very different to 20 years ago. Oh gosh. Um, very little yeah. skin um, redness after the treatment. Exactly. Very comfortable. Right. Okay. So once we're in there yeah. and we release the pulse, yeah. hopefully our aim is for this pulse to have completely heated up the hair follicle, right. which then releases the hair. And this is now the most important thing you need to remember. Mm -hmm. The follicle releases the hair when it's been treated sufficiently. Right. Which means then the electrode just grabs the hair yeah. and just lifts it from the follicle. Right. So you mustn't feel any tugging or plucking sensation uh. Uh, on the treated follicle. And uh. that's how you know whether that follicle has been sufficiently treated or not. Uh. If you're having a test patch or a treatment when yep. you're constantly feeling tugging and plucking sensation, that's not electrolysis. Right. Let's go through that again because I really feel that's important. Yeah. So what you're saying is that if you're feeling as if you're having your hair plucked or anything, it's not yeah. the right thing. It's, it's not, not the right thing. It, you shouldn't feel anything. The hair slides out of the um, follicle mm -hmm. like butter, mm -hmm. so you don't feel any, any tugging. Mm -hmm. That is the sign of successful permanent hair removal. Good. So once we've treated one follicle, we will just move on to the next follicle. And this is what makes the treatment a little bit slow, mm -hmm. but it's totally worth it. Mm -hmm. um, um, most of the time we will have managed to, to clear all the hairs um, that we see on the skin mm -hmm. or we'll do just as much as the time allows us yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. and um, after the treatment we will apply some cooling um, it could be witch hazel or aloe vera or um, tea tree lotion right. uh, solutions that will help your skin cool down right. and heal faster and will um, protect your skin on the way home from yeah. the sun. Okay. So all in all, a typical appointment would be how long? Just as a rough, um, that a can, rough. 
it ideal. can really vary. Mm -hmm. So let's say if we're treating a menopausal lady who has just a few um, bristly hairs on the edge of her chin yep. and on the edge of yep. her lips, yep. 15 minute appointment will be sufficient usually to clear that. Yep. Um, but because we're treating hair by hair, mm -hmm. we the, the length of time that is required will depend on how much hair there is, how big the patches of hair are. Mm -hmm. And we can work uh, with transgender clients, for example. Mm -hmm. I work sometimes three, four, five hours. Right. Um, but then again, different it's a very yeah. different scenario. Yes. As with most things, there are some risks and side effects to be aware of. Would you mind just quickly just explaining a few of these and also how to minimize that with good aftercare? Electrolysis is a skill. Um, most importantly, if you find the right electrologist, you, this is the best way to minimize risks and side effects. So, um, follow before and after care religiously mm -hmm. and you won't have any problems. Good. Yeah. Um, but after the treatment, normal appearance of the skin is redness and puffiness. Okay. Depending on how long we've worked in an area, mm. that will differ. Some people get quite a bit of swelling. It's quite, it's normal. That's why the first 24 hours to 48 hours sometimes mm. after electrolysis mm -hmm. is the time when you need to keep the skin cool, clean, dry, mm -hmm. which means no exercise, no swimming, nothing that will make you hot and sweaty like hot showers, hot baths, steam sauna, right, right. anything like that. Okay. Avoid any application of makeup, again just for the initial period of yeah, time, yeah. 24 to 48 hours. Yeah. So that's no makeup, no perfume products or any products that can be harsh on the skin that have very active ingredients. Mm -hmm. That also means facials, exfoliation, scrubbing mm -hmm. uh, does not belong in that first 48 hour mm -hmm. period after treatment. Mm -hmm. It just allows the skin to cool mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. um, and relax after the treatment. And Fingers avoid touching the area. I know it's very tempting to feel the smoothness mm -hmm. of it. I'm one but of that. Yes. Yeah. Um, allow the skin to close up and then you can touch. Yeah. Uh, but in the beginning, no touching. Mm -hmm. um, sun exposure. Um, I know darker skinned people think that they have magic powers. We do. Sugar powers we do. The sun. We do. It's but called melanin. For yes. Yes. But, yes. But, but, but I'm going to defer to this. Yes. As well. The um, our our skins are very clever. Yeah. When there is a micro wound or you know healing process in the skin mm -hmm. and there is UV light, the skin has sensors mm -hmm. and catches that and mm -hmm. says, "Why? I need to protect myself from this, so I'm just gonna put all this pigment above the healing mm -hmm. site, yeah. make my little parasol of pigmentation, yeah. and that's how we end up with darker." Yeah spots yeah. um, where we have healing processes taken yeah. they're temporary they're gonna go away that's the good news mm -hmm. but it's you know it could be avoided yeah yeah absolutely so yep although we have the melanin and people of all skin tones do have melanin it's just the concentration and the speed at which it rises to the surface that differs but again making sure that you follow the aftercare means that you don't have to deal with these problems. So I guess for a lot of people wondering out there, Jerry, how do you go about finding a good electrologist? Um, well, in the UK, we're very lucky to have the professional um, association, which is called the British Institute and Association of Electrologists. Okay. And they have a very useful website with a directory. Okay. And you can just enter your uh, postcode and it will bring out suggestions of um, electrologists that are around your postcode. Mm -hmm. um, you can also go online and just look up beauty places around. But with electrolysis, you really want to look for a specialist who does that exclusively yeah. and doesn't do everything. Um, not that it's not possible to have a beauty therapist doing a pretty decent job as an electrologist, but you're more likely mm -hmm. to find um, an electrologist specialist to do mm -hmm. um, the best job mm -hmm. on your face. Um, there is a lovely, huge international forum on hair removal called Hair Tell. Okay. And there's a lot of information there. Mm -hmm. There's also um, 
professionals on there that give advice um, to people right. um, who are in trouble yeah. most, yeah. most yeah. commonly. Don't worry guys, I'll put the links to those websites below so you can find them easy peasy. But for people wondering how to find you specifically, Jerry, how do we find you? Well, I'm quite present online, social media, <laughs> good. Yep. I trade as Flawless Skin by Electrolysis and my website is Electrolysis, the number four, hairremoval.co.uk, but I'm sure I Dr. Will. K will put the links below this video. Don't worry, I got you. Guys, I hope you found this first video on electrolysis very useful for you. If you have any more questions, then post them in the comment box below. And again, I'll be sure to either answer them or pass them on to the actual experts. And again, I'll put Jerry's links and email um, contact info so you can message her directly. So guys, thank you so much. We are at the end of the video and many thanks to Jerry for being so patient and explaining this to me and to you. Remember that this is the first video in my Meet the Expert series. There'll be lots of other videos and lots of other times where we get to chat with Jerry about other things such as laser hair removal, amongst other things that she offers. If you want to be informed about when I release new videos in this series, then make sure to not only like and comment, but click that subscribe button. Yeah, she's got it. She's <laughs> somewhere there. Somewhere there. Make sure to click that button. And not only that, click the bell button as well so that you are notified whenever the videos are uploaded. In the meantime, make sure to have a look at my other videos and I'll look forward to seeing you and seeing Jerry in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.